So today I'm going to show you an easy way to pump water when you don't have access to mains power. This is what we call a solar pump. I've got a solar panel here on about a 37 degree angle and the power from it goes down here into a control box. This brand of pump is the Lorenz PS150. So we can see the electricity goes straight down here into the box. There it gets turned into useful power for the pump. And the actual pump sits out in the dam. So this is where our pipe and our cable go into the dam. And out there where that blue drum is, that's where the pump is floating off. So you have the pump floating on a drum, so it's about half a meter under the water. And then that way it's not sucking up mud from the bottom of the dam and it's also not going to suck anything in that floats on top of the water like leaves and stuff like that. So this is where we have the solar pump pump into. We've got a 5,000 gallon open top cement tank here and over there we've also got a 5,000 gallon poly tank. So we've got 10,000 gallons of reserve water so if it's cloudy for a couple of days we've got plenty of water here for the cattle from here it goes into a trough over there so down here in the tank we have what's called a float switch and how it works is when it's floating upwards like that it turns a solar pump off and then if it leans down there's a little ball bearing in there and if you push it down you can hear the little ball bearing click and then that makes it turn makes the solar pump turn on so all up for the solar panel, the control box, the cable down to the dam and the pump and the um, float switch. All that costs about three and a half thousand dollars. So that's a lot cheaper than what it would have taken to repair this windmill. The gearbox in this windmill went and so that's why I decided to replace it with this solar pump. So you hear that? That's the sound of a broken gearbox on a windmill. So this is a 200 watt solar panel. Depending on how much water you want to pump each day, depends on how many solar panels you're going to need. With this solar panel connected up to that pump, it'll pump 25,000 litres a day. And I thought that was funny for what I what I wanted because I'm just using it to water a couple of hundred head of cattle. And so yeah, even on a real hot summer's day, they don't drink that much water. Probably only drink half that much water, but you always want your system to be a bit bigger than you want because you don't want the the you need the water to keep up with the cattle. You don't want the the, the cattle cattle beating the water, cattle drinking faster than it can pump. Because yeah, that'll just give you trouble. I used to have this style of float switch on it, but as, as you get those ripples from the wind, it would just flop up and down like that, and we pump on, pump off, pump on, pump off, and that was no good. So then I put this around it, trying to stop the ripples, but that didn't really work at all. The water just came up from underneath, and it still made this shake up and down, and just turn on and turn off. The good thing about this style of float switch 
is that if there's a bit of wind and there's a bit of a ripple in the water, the pump won't just turn on and turn off and turn on and turn off because if that happens all through the day, that uh, wears your pump out quicker. So it's got a bit of a, a range. So if you watch it, how far down that's got to go. So it's got to go to there. You can hear it, hear the ball bearing come away. It'll be turned on. And then for it to turn off again, it's got to go all the way back up to here. That way if your pump's going to turn on, it's probably going to run for at least half an hour and not just stop and start all day. So if you need to pump water in an off-the-grid situation, I reckon Lorenz solar pumps are definitely the way to go.